Hi, welcome another time, another Thursday that we stay together. Michael just uh, say uh, to you that uh, we make a supply, but we make in three different steps. Today we start to prepare the uh, ragu, the next uh, step we prepare risotto, and the next step we make supli and we frying. But together the ragu, we prepare one uh, cake today. We make the Pope's Salam with the chocolate. Now we start immediately to prepare the uh, ragu because it must cooking for more time. And uh, after we start to prepare the, the salam. I just cut the onion, carrots, and the and celery, okay? You remember when uh, we make the, the school cooking class in Soriano, I said that you must chop very, very well the ingredient because it must enter in all part of the uh, ragu. In this uh, time, you must chop in a little, 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 little piece because in the ragu, you must find only the taste, not the piece. Okay, well, I just put in the pan the butter, I had oil, and we started to add the onion. I had only the onion. You remember the, the, the story that I say to you when uh, Ivan came in Soriano and uh, watched me that they prepared the ragu and they had the all vegetable together and he say, ah, oh, if my mother watched you killed, I say, why? Because I had the all ingredients together. Before you had the onion, frying very well the onion with the butter and oil, when are soft, you had the meat, roasted very well the meat. After you had the wine, if you have uh, red wine or white wine, red is better, but I finish the red and I have the white wine, it's the same, it's important that it's dry. And you frying, and when it's dissolved totally, the smell of the wine, you can start to add the tomato. Before you had the tomato pasta, and after you add the tomato sauce. This tomato sauce is the sauce that I prepared last summer with the fresh tomato and we want to use this summer in the school cooking class but it's not possible and I prepare for you the ragu for the supply. Our onion started to fry in, are soft, the smell is very good. Okay, now I start the, to add the meat. The meat is a beef and a, a sausage or pork pasta. Okay, we roast it very well with the onion. Broken very well the piece of meat because you must find the inner part of the uh, supply the piece of uh, meat. Okay. While we wait that the meat is ready, we can start to uh, um, to make warm the water in the big pan and top there is the other little pan. Here you must add the chocolate for uh, melt. I just cut the chocolate. Now I show you another piece for reduce. This is a dark chocolate. I have a block and I reduce it in the little piece. I finish to cut.
watch your hand because it's possible that you cut your finger okay you reduce it in a little piece because it, it, you dissolve and you melt immediately we must prepare immediately because we must make cold before that you add with the other ingredient for the salami. Okay. I add in the cup. I move the meat. Okay, now you can put the chocolate in the little pan. It's important that uh, don't enter the water inside because if enter the water, the chocolate remain dense and you cannot mix very well after. Okay, while we wait that uh, the meat is uh, roasted, we can start to uh, broken the biscotti for the salam in the bag with the, the roll pin you broke it in a big piece no little because when you put inside you must find a piece of the biscotti the sides okay and you take in one side in the big bowl you had the butter the butter is just uh, take out from the refrigerator because it must remain soft and you mix with the electric uh, with the electric uh, with the sugar powder sugar is a roasted okay now we can start to add the wine hide uh, five and the start to wait that the smell of the wine is totally evaporated <laughs> inside the, the other ingredients for uh, the ragu. Well, now with the electric mixer, we start to mix the, uh, the butter. Okay, you add the sugar powder.
help you stop the the cream is very soft. Add a few minutes for the smell of the wine and after we start to add the tomato pasta. Okay, now we start to add inside only the yolk. Three yolk, but you had one yolk start to mix when it uh, absorbs all yolk with the cream, you add another yolk and you continue. Oops. One. and continue to mix. Okay, I stopped one moment for uh, make a salam and the uh, meat is uh, dissolved the, the, the smell of the wine, we can start to add the tomato pasta. We had half tube. Okay, we have just had all tomato pasta to the meat, and now you can start the file, and then we open our tomato sauce that we prepared the last summer. It's very fresh. You had inside. Mix. And you start to add the salt, pepper, chili pepper, and the basil, but we have not fresh basil and we must add the dry. Okay. Chili pepper. Salt. Basil, and the 
and the where is the clove of garlic? Okay, and one clove of garlic. there is the smell of the garlic and the, with the, the salam is not good. Okay, and we mix and take slow the fire and continue to cooking for uh, one hour, one hour and a half. When it is uh, half to cooking, you try the taste if you need more salt more pepper or if the tomato is a little more acid you add one pinch or one teaspoon of sugar okay the tomato sauce the bolognese sauce continue to cooking and we continue to prepare our salam okay ah sorry i forgot the the celery and the carrots now when you add the uh, tomato, you can start to add also the carrots and the celery. Okay, you cook and after, when uh, it's finished, I wait that it's very cold and after I put in the freezer, for the next week. This uh, recipe is, uh, I must divide in three times because it is very long, because I must prepare the ragu, I must cook in the rice and make a risotto, and a weight that is very cold, and after I must prepare the souffle and the frying. And it's not possible with uh, 30 minutes to make all this, uh, all this thing. And today we make the ragu. The next time we prepare risotto and after we make soupli. Okay. Well, then I go cooking and we start to finish to make the salad. Now we must clean because it remain all butter and the cream. With the spoon we clean. Add the all cream that remain around. Continue to mix. Now you have the, the chocolate powder inside. And the mix with the cream.
it's very well. All cream must remain brown. Okay, for help, for uh, finish to add uh, all ingredient, you can start to add the room. The cream is ready, you wait in one side, and then now we've broken the hazelnuts. In one bag, the same for the biscotti, you add the hazelnuts that we have just toasted. Broken in big pieces. The same when we prepare tozzetti, you remember? Cantucci. Now we can start to add the hazelnuts inside of the cup. And continue to mix. We wait that the chocolate is melt. Okay, if you want, you can wait that the chocolate is cold. Or if you want, you can add the chocolate immediately for cooking the egg. Because the egg is very fresh, but if it remain done cooking, you can take only for three days in the refrigerator or one month in the freezer. But you must consume immediately because the egg are not cooking. Okay, the chocolate is dissolved. Smelt. And we can start to add the inside. Stop the fire. Take out the pan from the other. Oh, pila. Ah, oh, oh. Don't add water. Okay, you can start to add the chocolate inside.
mix. And now you can start to add inside the biscotti. You add in a little part of the biscotti. Don't add all together because you must mix very well with the chocolate and with the other ingredients. This is dry biscotti. Now finish to add this. Finish to mix very well. If you like another liquor, you can start. Uh, we change with the brandy, or if you want uh, sweet, uh, you can add the uh, Grand Marnier. But uh, with uh, the room, I said that is perfect because the room with the dark chocolate is uh, the best. for your salam is ready. Now we pre we take the paper compost of the salam on top of here, in the middle. Big salama. Salamone. If you have some question for uh, the recipes, you can write me on Facebook and uh, I I say you the the secret. the spoon you start to compact the salam this is big salam I think that they must make two because it is very large I need another paper 
boy makes it too different. This paper is a bit tough. You divide the alpha, the quantitative. Okay, now, mm, good, mm. you take two parts of the paper together and take longer to make the form to the salam. Okay, now you open and roll on one side, give the form. And the close the same of a uh, jelly. Okay? You have your salam. We finish with the other. And the same, close the two parts. Take stronger and give the form to the salam. And the roll. Take. Okay, give the form. Roll. And close it. Okay, now you must put this in the freezer or refrigerator. If you want it immediately, you put in the freezer for two hours. Or if you want to wait, you can put in the refrigerator and you must wait uh, five, six hours before that you eat because the butter must stop with the chocolate and the other ingredient. Okay, I put this in the freezer because after tonight, after that we have uh, having uh, dinner, I will uh, show you the pop salam uh, on Facebook to ready to eat. Okay? Bye. See you next Thursday.